Now this is Pipe Dream. It's a 40-foot trimaran now anyway. It started out in life as a hospital chimney. Yes, a chimney. And it's the dream of a local lad to take this around the world. So we're setting sail on it for the Friday feature. In all the marinas, in all the ports, in all the harbours, in all the country, in all the world, you'll not see a craft like this. Pipe Dream, the boat that Bob Dyer built. It's like a floating jumble sail. The steel hull started out in life as a hospital chimney. Three years ago, Bob taught himself to weld and set about turning it into a trimaran. With a building girder here and a scaffold pole there, Pipe Dream took shape in an old barn at Mulsford in Oxfordshire. It was launched on the Thames and floated around the coast of Shotley in Suffolk, where Bob is about to start sea trials. And if all goes well, he'll set sail for the world later this year. I've wanted to go around the world since I was probably about 15, 16. And um, I eventually went to the States and I bought an old Cadillac and I started going across the States on my own from one side to the other side. And on the way I met loads of sailors, you know, down in the ports. And um, they just sort of showed me that it wasn't perhaps as hard as I thought and when I got back I decided right I've got the travelling bug now let's use it. So you went and found an old hospital chimney. Why a chimney? Why not? <laughs> um, because it's very strong, it's very light for what it is, much lighter than a normal steel boat. Um, it's got a lot less wetted surface area, in other words a lot less of amount of metal underneath the water to slow the boat down. Um, and it's very cheap and easy for me to build. And you haven't built a boat before, no great experience of sailing, so, so how do you start? Where do you start? Um, well, I, I just started literally by thinking, right, will this work? And I did a load of calculations on a sheet of paper. You know, the old Pythagoras theorem, <laughs> the only thing I've ever used from school. Um, and I just decided, right, this thing will float, you know, because the theory says it will float. Um, I think it would be okay, so I just, just launched into it, you know. It's sometimes it's the best way to go, just launch yourself into something and then you start getting somewhere. And you've got bits of old scaffold pole, bits of old metal, bits of girders and things like that, it, it all works? Yeah, totally, yeah. All proved now, at last. <laughs> Two years, eight months, and at last it's all proved. Pipe Dream has cost just £15,000 to build. It's 40 foot long and weighs seven and a half tonnes. There remains a lot of work to be done. The sails still have to be rigged and tested. Down below, there's a bunk, a sink and a stove. So what's it going to be like sailing single-handed around the world? Very nice. She's very comfortable to sail on. I mean, I've come through some pretty bad waves um, with my tomato sauce bottle upside down on its lid and I've walked in and it's still been upside down. You know, so she's very comfortable to live in. People are gonna look at you and say, well, you're bonkers. I mean, you, you know, sailing around the world in an old chimney. What, what do you say to them? Mm. Well, it's my dream, you know. <laughs> if you don't like it, tough luck. This is what I want to do, you know. It's my life. A lot of people tend to follow this idea that you, you know, you have to do things in a certain set way as everyone else has done. I don't believe in following others. Sometimes it's a good idea, but at the end of the day, it's nicer to follow your own ideas. So. Have you sought any advice from anybody? Any... Um... <laughs> correct thing would be to have done but no <laughs> I'm a bit arrogant I'm afraid um, luckily that arrogancy works because it means I can rely on myself and I depend on myself and so far I haven't tripped myself up but um, yeah I've looked into a lot of things you know read a lot of books and this lot to make sure you know and done it I'm gonna do an awful amount of tests and the good thing is because I've built it I can quite easily chop and change and rebuild certain parts if I had to but there's no reason to think that I'm going to have to do that. So I'm confident, confident in the boat, you know. I'll build it extra strong, you know, um, because this isn't just a boat just to get me around. This is the boat in 40 years' time I want to be sailing on and I think we probably might be living on as well. You live to dream, but wait till you hear what Bob is planning next. Well, I did have a weird idea of using an old... No, I won't tell you. Go on, tell us. Go on, tell uh, us. A gas tube as a submarine. Because if you get a BOC gas tube, you know, one of the big tankers, it's pre-pressurised, you know, pressure-tested. I don't know. 
a thought there for the future. That's the next project. I don't know. I don't think the wife would let me, actually. She said, this is enough. <laughs> She's probably right as well. Well, all you can say is the very best of luck to you. Thanks very much. Well, to be honest, sailing the world on, on Pipe Dream, this old chimney, isn't quite the life for me. So we hope to be back ashore, back in harbour, in time for Monday.